Geothermal energy is arguably the most renewable and abundant form of energy on the planet. So why is it that less than 1% of the world is currently powered by geothermal energy? What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Jay Corley with Digital Wildcatters and today we are diving into geothermal energy. Geothermal energy is generated by the earth, but we're not talking about the surface of the earth like where we live. We're talking about way down all the way into the core where temperatures inside the earth are literally hotter than the surface of the sun. As long as we're inhabiting this planet, this heat can be used as a renewable resource for utility scale, electricity production, heat and cooling. So just how much power are we talking about? Well, the heat flowing from the Earth's interior is by some estimates capable of generating twice as much power as our entire global energy consumption. So a lot. But the real beauty of geothermal isn't its power potential. It's actually the fact that it's a truly limitless form of energy and it produces no CO2 emissions. Well, if that's the case, then why aren't we focusing all of our attention on scaling up geothermal energy? Well, for starters, you can't build most geothermal systems just anywhere. The geological ingredients, so to speak, have to be there. Most existing geothermal systems are built in areas where we know the Earth's tectonic plates are pushing up against each other, allowing heat and steam to reach the Earth's surface. So as much as we would love to accelerate the development of geothermal energy as a whole, the rocks have to be right. And unfortunately, most of the time, that's not the case. But rather than dwelling on current development limitations, let's talk about how geothermal actually works. We'll break this into three main categories. First off, conventional geothermal or hydrothermal, as many call it. Second would be the closed loop systems. And then lastly, we'll dive into enhanced geothermal systems or EGS. Conventional or hydrothermal geothermal systems supply all of the world's current commercial geothermal energy. There are a few different types of hydrothermal plants, but they all pretty much work exactly the same. Liquid is pumped down an injection well deep into the ground. The liquid then heats up thanks to the hot rocks in the earth, and then it flows back up a separate production well, typically in the form of steam. This steam then turns a turbine, which then turns a generator, which then creates electricity. Now, the closed loop geothermal pumps have been used at a relatively small scale for commercial and residential applications. Rather than having a separate injection well and a production well like the hydrothermal and the EGS systems, closed loop systems utilize the constant underground temperatures to serve as a heat sink in the summer and a heat source in the winter. They work by pumping fluid through a system of underground pipes that transfer heat up to the surface to generate power. It's pretty simple. Now, until recently, geothermal power systems have only been able to exploit areas where the right amount of naturally occurring heat, water, and permeability were available. Enhanced geothermal systems are completely changing all of that. EGS systems leverage fracking technology developed by the oil and gas industry over the past decade to break free of all of these previous geographical limitations. EGS resources span much larger areas across the country because they do not require that natural permeability or that in-situ fluid. Now, this is a big deal. This expansion could lead to a 40x increase over current geothermal generating capacity if the EGS systems were to gain enough traction to be commercially viable. That's 40 times. That's absolutely insane. So we talked about the benefits of the EGS systems. Let's talk about how the EGS systems actually work. An injector well is drilled into hot rock and hydraulically fractured to create a network of permeable fractures. So a whole bunch of little tiny cracks in the rocks to allow this injector well to communicate with a production well. So a production well is drilled to intercept the induced fractured network. Then cool water is injected into the fractured network and heated by contact with that surrounded hot rock once again. The heated water or steam is returned to the surface via the production well and run through turbines, which once again are going to generate electricity. EGS systems obviously show a ton of promise to help us rapidly expand our geothermal power generating capacity, not only here in the US, but worldwide. However, EGS is still mostly in the research phase with groups like the Frontier Observatory for Research in Geothermal Energy, or FORGE, 
as they're most commonly known. That's kind of a mouthful. These guys are leading the charge. We hope to see this technology commercialized in the next few years so that we can bring clean and abundant energy to the masses. If you like this video, please take two seconds to like, subscribe, share with your friends, and we will catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.